In .NET 8, we now have a method to randomly shuffle arrays and spans. Let's look at it in this episode of 10 Minute Training. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on that technology, but sometimes you just need the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created this 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. And here we have a, a .NET 8 project that is, and that's key here is .NET 8. This is not compatible with .NET 7 before, but I have an array of people. Now, normally we, we work with a list, a list of T or something like that, but this works on arrays and spans and that's it for right now. So if I did a for each, let's do a for each right here. By the way, the record is defined right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna do a for each. Now I'll say for each P in people. And we're gonna do a console right line with string interpolation that says uh, P dot first name and then P dot last name. Real simple stuff here, just to show that, you know, it, it prints out the, the order of the people that I specified. So right now, Tim, Corey, Sue Storm, Joe Smith, Jane Jones, and Greg Jones, in that order, every single time it'll run in that order. But we now have a new method on the random. Now, random since .NET 6 has had this idea of shared, which is a thread safe random instance that can use all over. This is a really convenient way of doing random now. And we can say random.shared.shuffle and say people. So I'm going to shuffle the people. And notice I'm not assigning it anywhere because this is an in-place shuffle. And it's a very efficient shuffle as well. So this is going to randomly shuffle the people into a new order. So let's run this and see this in action. And we do, we get this uh, Joe Smith, Sue Storm, Greg Jones, Jane Jones, and Tim Corey. And if we run it again, we'll see that it's a different order. So now Tim Corey's in the middle, Smith and the Joneses are still together. And you may say, well, you know, why are they still together? Well, that's because it's random and it's random where they're gonna be. But if you want to do a console right line, we'll put um, some asterisks just to kind of separate some sections. And we're going to do this randomization a couple more times and we'll get rid of that last one. Okay, so there's three times we'll do it in a row with the same array. And we'll, we can see that the, the Joneses are together here and here, but they're not together in the bottom one because this is a random ordering and it's gonna be different every time. And sometimes it'll even be in the original order because that is what random means. Random means it might not, it's not gonna be what you expect, it's just whatever it comes up with. So that's how you shuffle a list. Again, that's in place, meaning the people list will be changed. It's not that we're creating a new list, we're creating this, we're using the same exact list and shuffling it in place. And that is the new shuffle for random in .NET 8.